it's by Fernando Sor. Now, Fernando Sor was a guitarist in the 1700s, and a lot of guitar music is adaptable to carillon. And this is one of these pieces, and it's really quite uh, nice. And uh, the only bass note is this one here. It's all played with the manual, but it's a very nice piece. I think you'll like it. <clears throat> themselves don't move. They're attached to girders like this. And uh, they were installed back in 1924 uh, by raising each bell on the outside of the tower by the newly invented steam crane. And uh, then there's a big square at the very top, uh, in the next chamber up, which was open. And each bell was brought in and lowered and attached to the girder. Then, after they were all done, the, the, the dingers, the clappers, were installed, and each clapper has a uh, hard wire like this attached to it, and it goes a horizontal like this to a bar, okay? And then there's another one that goes down, and that's these here, goes through the ceiling, and each one's attached, each, no, each clapper is attached to a bell, here, and you'll see that, again, it looks like a, a, a piano keyboard or an organ keyboard. The difference is, and same with the practice instrument, if I press one of the pedals, you'll see that it is connected to the manual here. You see how it's moving? See? I, I'm not playing the sound yet, because there's no point. I, I, I wanted to explain to you how uh, the purpose of the turnbuckles, that's what I started to do. So when you... Uh, I'll uh, give you uh, some more of my blurb about <laughs> this rather unique instrument. There's about 700 of them worldwide. Uh, Toronto has four grand carillons, sorry, three, and there are three, two octave instruments in Ontario. Um, there's also the Peace Tower in Ottawa, which has the biggest bell, has a 16, uh, no, 8 eight ton bell. So the science behind the bells is really quite interesting. The bells themselves are made of bronze, which is an alloy of tin and copper. And if you listen to this bell here, and then this note is a different note. So the clapper, when it strikes it, it makes that one sound. The bells, are, this is where the clock is, and it was put in at the same time as the uh, bells uh, by the Gallatin Johnson Company, and they were a bell foundry and Here you'll see this is this is the actual bell that goes through the ceiling to the actual instrument, and this is the uh, a sleeve which keeps the water, the rain, from sliding down and onto the actual. So it's very simple. You know, somebody was thinking, oh no, you know, let's. let's, let's 